Thank you, Jerome. And our final speaker on this topic is Dr. Sutan Livia Idiyan. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, bila anak ini salam kepada Alhamdulillah, Muhammad Nabi Shahdi Sadri, Wai Sri Amri, Wahid Ukhlatan Minisan, Yaf Kaukori. First of all, I would like to thank the organizer for inviting me to speak at this uh, esteemed conference. And as the only accreditation in this session, my presentation will be slightly different from other speakers because the presentation was prepared using literature-based methodology, which is a kind of qualitative research approach focusing on the issues of product innovation and, of course, insurance markets in the Middle East. Literature reveals that MENA countries, or Middle East and North African countries, have been growing significantly over the last decade. However, this positive economic growth is not followed by the development in, in the insurance market because literature also revealed the insurance market in the region is still far away from its maximum potential. And it is found by many literature. One possible reason is due to the lack of market oriented product innovation. Many empirical studies have found that there is a positive correlation between market orientation, product innovation, and operational performance. In other words, market-oriented or market-driven companies, including insurance companies for sure, will be able to quickly respond to the market needs by producing innovative products that not only fit the needs of the customer, but also meet their financial and commercial objectives. However, we need to look at the insurance market in Vina, and most literature reveals that product innovation is still relatively limited in, in this region. When it comes to the first key discussion points about the characteristic of insurance market in the Middle East, as it has been mentioned by the previous speakers, Number one, of course, insurance penetration rate in the Middle East is relatively lower than other regions. For example, if we compare the insurance penetration rate in Malaysia with the insurance penetration rate in the GCC, we found that Malaysia has four times higher insurance penetration rate than the GCC. And when it comes to life insurance segment, the, so the story is getting worse because life insurance in this region is still very underdeveloped. And literature reveals that there are two reasons why life insurance in this region is underdeveloped. Number one, there are many people in the region, in the Middle East region, who still view life insurance to be against religious values, which is against Sharia. And number two, there is an existence of low public awareness on the benefit of insurance in general and life insurance in particular. I will highlight this point later on in uh, one of the slides. And another unique characteristic of the Middle East insurance is the existence of significant numbers of high net worth individuals, especially in the GCC. And of course, this opened the door for financial institution, including insurance, to offer tailored or custom products to meet their needs. Just like private banking in, 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 in banking, so some insurance players here can also uh, cater the needs of this network individual by offering products that, that meet their needs. Another characteristic, currently despite the low insurance penetration rate in the region, the competition within insurance market, based on the literature, found to be tougher. This is because many countries in the Middle East want to be the regional hub for a, a regional financial hub. As a result, they amended their regulation.
Indonesia can persist uh, to be investor friendly and then it managed to attract many players or more players to come and making the competition becoming tougher. And another important characteristic of the Middle East insurance is there is an existence of knowledge and expertise deficit. There is lack of talents. Even though the region managed to attract foreign professional uh, to come here to fill the gap, however, the number is still insufficient to support the growth. And lastly, the literature also reveals that risk management culture in this region is still at infancy stage. So what will be the needs of the insurance market in the Middle East? Based on the, of course, uh, the characteristic of the Middle East uh, insurance. Number one, the insurance market here needs more talents, more knowledge and expertise. Integrating insurance into academic curriculum of universities and higher learning institutions in the Middle East is important, is very important. And close collaboration between the industry players and those educational providers is really encouraged not only to create more talents but also to give feedbacks to this uh, institution to make sure that they equip their graduates with the necessary skill and knowledge that the industry needs. Otherwise, maybe they produce more graduates but the graduate are not equipped with necessary skill and knowledge that the industry needs. So that's why close collaboration is very important. And also important to educate the public on the benefit of insurance. More public awareness campaign is needed. At this point, I would like to highlight there are also many empirical studies which have proven a positive correlation between awareness and preference. In other words, as more aware you are with a particular product, then you will prefer this product than the others. So that's why. Need, we need to create more awareness. And uh, MENA countries also need to improve their regulation policies, which are not only investor friendly, but also regulation that can ensure customer protection. And of course, since the issue of religious value is important here, then the solution uh, for the insurance market is to conduct more aggressive research and development on Sharia compliant alternative to the insurance, which is Takaful and Ritakaful. And I will uh, discuss in more details in the next slides. And the next key discussion point is how to build a more authoritative value proposition in the MENA insurance market. The answer is to link up offered solution with the region's needs, culture, and values. Number one, again, we need to offer more innovative Takaful products. For your information, literature also revealed product innovation in Takaful uh, uh, sector is still relatively limited according to the literature, so need more, more uh, to develop in this uh, aspect. And uh, insurance players can need to also create more tailor-made products, especially for high net worth individuals in the region. And for some resource poor countries in the region, because Middle East also consists of some uh, resource poor countries, Micro insurance and micro takaful scheme can be also a considerable option. And again, literature also reveals that banka assurance or banka takaful arrangement uh, need uh, to be done more because this mechanism has been proven uh, to be an effective uh, channel of distribution. The last key discussion point is how to build customer trust. Again, it, is, it has been confirmed by previous speakers that effective regulation and supervision is uh, must be in place to ensure that uh, insurance players are able to cover the liabilities and also to provide channel for the public to contribute in controlling the industry. So by this, then there will be more trust uh, from the customer. For example, like provide them with channel to report any dispute. As a conclusion of my presentation, number one, there is a lot of untapped potential in the MENA region for the insurance players. However, there are several challenges that need to be overcome through market-oriented innovation in order to successfully enter the market. And we found that 
to solve the religious values issue, Saria frontline alternative, for example, developing takaful and retakaful products, banka takaful and macro takaful are believed to be the key success factors for any insurance companies uh, to operate and to, to penetrate the market in the region. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.